this is a computer. Except it's not. It's got two fans, two carbon filters, two aeration lines with air stones on the inside, and an LED board up top. I'm running 13 Cree X-Lamp LEDs and driving them at 700 milliamps each, giving a total LED wattage of about 25 watts. And this is Rupert. Rupert's my first plant, and we're going to try and grow her in less than 0.3 cubic feet of space. The inner dimensions of this enclosure measure 9 inches wide by 9 inches tall by 6 inches deep. That's not much. So over the next couple of weeks, we're going to be topping this gal off and tying her down until we can get 8 main colas growing. Then we're going to build a scrog net and rest it 2.5 inches from the base of the plant, hopefully giving us 6 inches of flowering room. All of the electronics for this project are in the front end cover of the computer case. At the top, we've got our AC and DC lines, then we've got our LED driver and DC power supply. A little lower, we've got our controller board and LED board switch. And finally at the bottom, we've got our air pump for aerating the roots. Here's an older version of the controller board I designed for this project. Here we've got a 12 volt input and a 5 volt linear regulator. This is the control unit that'll be calling all the shots, and here's a USB port for reprogramming or grabbing information from the MCU. Over here we've got inputs for two temperature sensors, which is a feature that might be used in the future, and at the bottom we've got a real-time clock module for keeping track of the date and time, which is used for setting the lighting schedule. On the back side we've got a resonator for the real-time clock module and a small battery to allow the RTC module to keep track of time even if the unit gets unplugged. And finally over here we've got a USB to TTL serial converter module that will allow us to talk to our controller through USB. I'm really excited to dive into this project. I had a full-blown marijuana legalization here in Canada, especially for those of us living in rental units. Now seems like the perfect time to start experimenting with stealth grow setups. And let's be honest, if we can make this work with 9 inches of vertical space, we're all in pretty good shape. So that's it for now. If you want to follow the project, hit the subscribe button. I'll try and keep updates frequent. If these videos get enough interest, I might do a few videos on the technology that went into this setup, or maybe a tutorial on how you can build one yourself. And depending on how the project goes, I might even design a proper LED and control board and put a package together so you can skip the tedious part and get right to growing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around.